Welcome to Spectrum of Wisdom. Today, we're diving into the world of Guernsey cattle, one of the most remarkable dairy breeds. Known for their unique golden milk, high in protein and butterfat, Guernseys are efficient, adaptable, and have a rich history that spans centuries. Join us as we explore their origins, characteristics, and why they are a favorite among dairy farmers worldwide. Let's get started. Guernsey cattle come from the island of Guernsey, located between France and England. They are believed to have descended from two French breeds, Brindle cattle from Normandy and Fromont du Lyon from Brittany. Initially brought to Guernsey in the Middle Ages for work, they were later bred for their excellent dairy qualities. By 1700, they were recognized as a distinct breed, and in 1789, importing other cattle to the island was banned to keep the breed pure. Guernsey cattle are easy to spot with their fawn or reddish-brown coats and white patches. Their milk is special because it has a rich, golden-yellow color due to high levels of beta-carotene. This milk is also high in butterfat, around 4.68%, and protein, about 3.57%. They have strong, broad backs and shoulders, a graceful walk, cream-colored muzzles, and, and amber feet. Known for their friendly and calm nature, Guernsey cattle are easy to handle. Their fawn or red and white coats help them tolerate heat better, reducing stress and maintaining milk production even in warmer climates. They thrive in both hot and cold regions, making them versatile for different environments. Guernsey cattle are efficient at converting feed into milk. They have a smaller frame compared to breeds like Holstein's, allowing them to produce more milk per pound of feed. This makes them a cost-effective choice for dairy farmers. Their gestation period is about 283 days, and calves typically weigh around 71 pounds, 32 kilograms, at birth. On average, a Guernsey cow produces between 6,000 to 8,000 kilograms, 13,200 to 17,600 pounds, of milk per lactation period, with some cows even surpassing 10,000 kilograms, 22,000 pounds. Guernsey cows are medium-sized, with cows weighing around 450 to 500 kilograms, about 1,000 to 1,100 pounds, and bulls weighing 600 to 700 kilograms, about 1,300 to 1,500 pounds. They usually stand about 54 inches tall. Their milk is packed with nutrients, containing 12% more protein, 30% more cream, 33% more vitamin D, 25% more vitamin A, and 15% more calcium compared to average milk. The high butter fat content, around 5%, makes the milk richer and creamier, perfect for dairy products like cheese and butter. Under good management, Guernsey cattle usually have 4 to 6 calves in their lifetime. They are known for their ease of calving, with the lowest incidence of calving difficulties among major dairy breeds. This is so well known that artificial insemination AI, companies don't need to label Guernsey bulls with calving ease indicators. Even when crossed with heavier beef breeds, Guernseys tend to calve easily. Guernsey cattle are hardy and have good health, contributing to their strong immunity. They were bred to thrive in the rugged terrain and temperate climate of the Channel Islands, making them robust and resilient. They are generally resistant to many common cattle diseases due to their strong genetic makeup and centuries of selective breeding. Guernsey cattle reach reproductive maturity early, with both males and females ready to breed by around 22 months of age. This early maturity makes them efficient for dairy farming. Guernsey cows produce milk rich in beta-carotene, giving it a distinctive golden color. This milk is also high in butter fat and protein, making it ideal for dairy products like cheese and butter. Guernsey cattle are relatively low maintenance compared to some other dairy breeds, but they still need proper care and management to thrive. Thank you for watching this episode on Guernsey cattle. If you enjoyed learning about this incredible breed, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Spectrum of Wisdom for more insightful content on agriculture and livestock. Leave a comment below with your thoughts or any questions you have. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious.